Previously on Way 4. You know what? I, I really need to start taking notes. I don't remember things. I remember something. <laughs> they don't live with them. It's lots of things. How long do I have? I'm. Uh -huh. That's cannibalism. Gun roll for that. All right. So, Vladimir Dragos is in a very different situation than everyone else. <laughs> Vladimir has just taken over his ship, has killed the captain, and dissipated the succubus. So, you are on the ship. No. You're not on the ship? No. Did you jump off we, into the ice? Uh, trapped in ice. Uh, I took a group of two, the two best men on the ship, and one that wasn't very good. He was used <laughs> to test the ice, and he's gone now. We yeah. left him coldly behind as the ice Literally. cracked around him. Nice. Uh, you already made it to the cave with the burning fire inside? Who knows? So I'm going to start there. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys come upon a cave, and you can feel warmth emanating from inside. When you look down into it, you can see a small yellow light deep into the cave. And you can see smoke rising from behind the hill on the other side of the cave. We're just all going to climb on in. Do you go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. So roll. Um, just roll. See what happens. You just no abandon, jump into the hole. And your two crew members jump in right after you because they are loyal to a T. And Betty White hesitates for a moment, but you hear her jump in. As you're flying through this slide, the light in front of you is getting brighter and brighter and brighter until you suddenly come out into a cavern with nothing below you. Except ground. So you hit the ground. The two crew members come out behind you. They fall slightly to your left and slightly to your right. One of them falls and breaks his leg and his arm. The other one falls directly on his face, breaking his neck. Well, these were supposed and to be the best White, guys. Two of the best guys. <laughs> sucks. Betty White comes flying out suddenly, lands right on top of you. Strength check. I call this lay on hips. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to shoulder the weight of Betty landing on you, and she does a nice little flip off of you, lands on her feet. Uh, you take two damage. <laughs> the one guy with the broken leg and the broken arm is whining about it now, but uh, is trying to stand up. The other one is not trying to stand up. He's dead. <laughs> he died on impact because he fell on his face, which crushed his brain with the rest of his body, and then cracked his neck as well. Now... So he's just smashed on the ground. Lord. Now, what you see in front of you is a large lake that you could have fallen into, but unfortunately <laughs> you miss. All of you miss. On the other side of it, you can see a huge glowing red orb that is emanating the yellow light. Can I heal this dude? <laughs> Which one? The, the broken lake guy? Yeah, not the other one. <laughs> not the other one. Okay, yeah. So uh, what heal do you want to use? I don't know. How much healing does he need? He has taken 32 damage. What in the world just happened? I'm going to give this dude with his broken arm and his broken leg some black root and just be like, man, just rest up or whatever. If you're still alive when we come back, we'll maybe try to pick you up. We're going to head off towards the thing and go around the lake. Dexterity save. 17. You walk around the lake without issue. You don't slip or anything. You get to the other side and you're right in front of this orb. Now this orb is giant. 13 feet around. This is an orb. Perception check. Yeah. You notice nothing out of the ordinary with it, except that it's emanating heat. I'm going to ask Betty because I'm pretty sure that she said she knew a thing about it. And I'm going to hope that she remembers some shit this, you know, for once. Betty says, you see that crack? That means that it got away. And we need to go find it. This is just its egg. We need to go find the creature. That creature will get us out of that ice. And I'm guessing, based on how that tunnel over there looks like it's slightly melting, it probably went that way. All right, let's go then. 
So you guys run into the tunnel. Do that, Sarah, any save? Not good. <laughs> Not a good. Bad things happen. It's a one. It's a one huh? You guys walk into the melting tunnel, uh, much like you walked around the lake confidently. And as soon as you walk into the tunnel, some of the ice below you is not actually ice. It's it's liquid. And you slip. And you uh, land on a nearby stalagmite of ice, which stabs you in the shoulder. And Betty laughs at you and then walks around you and continues down the hallway. As you start to get up, you slip again and you fall on your face. You finally find your footing and you continue down the melting hallway a little bit more cautiously this time. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and brush it off while laying on hands. You lay on hands, brush off? Yeah. Yep. Okay, we'll heal. So I probably could have healed that guy's broken arm and leg pretty easily, but. He didn't like him. He's on black root now. Yeah, black root now. He's fine. So, you guys make it into the next cavern, or you're making your way towards the next area. Brad. I figure we'll just, no, we'll just all, it's it's wide, right? How wide is this thing? What in the world just happened? It's just Uh space now. Yeah, like. You guys okay. did a somersault and then something. Sticking all around the top of the cup, looking for all the fuck bit. 